The City Council Committee takes action on three projects Entergy says will help the power grid. But as Sabrina Wilson reports, council members approved a whole lot less than Entergy asked for. In 2021, Hurricane Ida caused widespread power outages, and because of that, the New Orleans City Council asked Intergy New Orleans to look at projects to make the electric grid stronger. As a result, the Council's Climate Change and Sustainability Committee took up three projects proposed by Intergy. They include a transmission upgrade, construction of the city's first grid-scale battery energy storage system, and rebuilding and hardening Sherwood Forest district grid which serves New Orleans East. Increasing the resiliency and reliability of our grid is incredibly important but we also have to do whatever we can to mitigate the impact to ratepayers and try to keep costs down as much as possible and so whether it's federal funds or credits that can be applied. The committee only approved projects receiving federal funding. Those projects are part of Intergy New Orleans grid iron projects. The entire grid iron plan totaled $1 billion, but the council only approved $106 million. We can't just say, okay, let's approve, you know, half a billion dollars to $750 million worth of potential ratepayer impacts, all solely on the backs of ratepayers. The people of the city have made tremendous overtures to provide resources through ratepayer dollars to do things like invest in nuclear energy, invest in a gas plant, and both have not panned out as they thought it should. We're not proposing something to enrich ourselves. This is truly what we recommend and believe that the city needs to make it more resilient and to, to withstand the storms that we're seeing. We confirmed with the U.S. Senator Bill Cassidy's office that the $55 million grant Intergy received from the federal government to enhance the grid's resiliency is from the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act that Cassidy helped to craft. All the residents in New Orleans are behind you, the council, you, the committee, holding Entergy accountable. Council members also asked Entergy about who's funding a marketing campaign related to its broader gridiron plan. And I find it very hard to believe that this group is spending advertising money purely out of the, the kindness of their hearts. Um, I, I think there must be some coordination with Entergy involved. I think it is problematic if you're sharing customer information uh, to folks who are looking to, you know, campaign around this particular issue. But in terms of sharing customer information, we do not do that. The approved plan uh, is expected to have about a 20 cent um, per month impact on ratepayers. Now, Intergy's president and CEO sent a statement. She says the GRIP project is a great start and great news for transmission in New Orleans East, but much more needs to be done to achieve measurable resiliency citywide.